Hey there coder, welcome back to API Coder. In this project, we will learn how to log out user and user IP address after too many failed login attempts in Django. I hope you have installed Python in your system and now install Django. So to install Django, we will open the terminal, new terminal, and we will type this command pip install Django. So you can see guys my requirement is already satisfied uh, in the next project I had installed Django so I hope you have installed your Django in your system. Now it's time to start a project. To start a project we simply type this command Django-admin sorry my spell Django-admin start project and we will type project name so here I will write logout my project name is logout so you can see by this command there is a directory this is my project directory is a logout and now i will do the change directory and i will go inside my project directory so for this i will type cd and uh, name of my project so here is my name logout sorry so i am in my project directory Inside the project directory, we will create app. So to start app, simply we will type this command Django dash admin start app. And uh, simply I will type name of my app, app1. So you can see inside my project directory, there is a app1 as the app, and this is the project, project directory. and this is the root directory of my project logout. And inside the root directory, there is a, my project directory and my app directory so inside the app directory there is a view taste and model so you know variable more about this i hope you are familiar with the django if you are not so let me know in the comment section that if you want a beginner tutorial or any basic tutorial of django so i will create in detail and depth so now what i will do i will just register my app in setting.py file because it's necessary to tell the Django that we have created an app. So here I will just write my name of my app, app1. And now guys, uh, I don't want to waste your so many time to writing code stuffs. I will do some copy and paste because uh, I don't have much time that I will write and uh, because I'm also doing a job and it's a very difficult for me to to write step by step code so for this i have created a blog where i have written in depth and explained so you can read this blog there is a link in the description you can find it so now i'll just open my blog so you can see you can visit my blog section when you will just go to the google and you will type apicoder.com and there is a blog section in my number you can click and you will have a blog of how to log out user after three failed login attempts in django so this is a basic introduction you can just read so now what i will do i'll just do some copy and paste so now let's create a file inside the app directory with the name of middleware.py where we will where we will write the class for logging user so just create a new file middleware.py file and we will just paste this whole code in middleware.py file middleware.py file so you can see guys I have based this code in middleware.py file which I created in app folder so you can see this is the class IP log middleware so you can see that it's assume that you have a username and you can see fail login attempt with the IP so if with the ip there is a three time failed login attempt so there will be a return std response that your ip has been temporarily logged due to multiple failed login attempts if you you have done a three time failed login attempt so you can see this is the basically the function get client ip basically it's just fetch the client ip address 
so now just let's start it in the views so let's go and now after that what we will just go on a setting dot file and paste this code inside the middleware section so you can see guys this is my app one middleware and ip log middleware so i'll just do the copy and paste just let's go to the setting dot file so you can see this is the middleware section so i'll just select this and paste this code over here so you can see basically this is my name of app where is my middleware.py file located okay so if you are using if you have just name your app anything so in the same way you have to add your your name of your app so you can see this is my name of my app one i have just given and inside the app one is a middleware.py file so this is the middleware.py file and inside the middleware.py file there is a class ip log middleware so we have defined all the thing we have defined app as inside the python file and class ip log middleware and this is max fail login attempts that so we have just you can also if you want that you want a chance to your user four time three time five times so you can just according to your need you can increase from here and this is the time that fail login log duration so it will just log until one hour if anybody have entered the password wrong three time wrong password so that's now i'll do this save and i'll go in views.py file so basically this is the function where we show the home page and this function where we do the register of user and this function where we do the login and this is the main function where we are catching user ip address and we are fetching detail that how many time user have do the wrong password and username you can see this is the function login views request and from authentication form data the request post so if ip so what is that mean it's just changing the ip address of the client so i'll do the copy from here and i'll go in a views.py file and paste this code over here you can see i have explained you this function basically we are showing the home page the register page and login page where we are fetching the user and user login duration and time and how many time log how many time a user has fail login you are fetching all of this thing so now it's time to create a folder so inside the app directory we will just create a folder with the name of templates where we will put html templates templates and inside the template directory we will create a file html file home.html home.html login.html register.html and over here we will just do some copy and paste so i'll go to my blog page and copy this html page login.html so i'll just paste it over here login.html file where we, we will put enter username and user password and now it's time to register This is the register.html where we, where we will ask user to enter their name, password, re-enter password, this types of build. And for that, now we will just do some copy of URLs. We will just define the path for views. So now what we will do, now we will just go to the project URL.py file and paste this code. 
this path is basically for views home page there they just show the home page and this is for register same you have you have idea about this now we'll just go and lock out urls lock out is name of my project and i'll do some paste copy paste you can see i have just paste over here and now it's time to register our templates because we have paste all of this thing login log out login home page and register now it's time to register our templates so i'll just go in the tempest and we will type here base dir Hold on. templates we will just define our directory app1 slash templates now guys it's time to run our server so for this we will just do some migration before running project python manage.py make migrations python manage.py migrate so you can see there's apply migration success and now we will do now we will run the server to twist to run the server we will type this command python manage.py run server python manage.py run server so guys you can see the my service is started now it's time to take, test our application so now we will follow this link so you can see it's the home page where we are showing the basically about and the home page contact us and login so now we will do the register because we don't have any user so simply i'll do some user and so now you can see that i am registering my username and my password i will do the register update now it's time to log in so now i'm giving my correct username and password so it was successfully logged in so you can see i'm successfully logged in you can see this is the welcome to your website now after successfully login logged in we are redirected to the home page and now we have only one option which is for a logout if user is authenticated we will just show logout okay so now i will do the logout and use wrong password to test that it is locking the user ip address or not after three failed login attempt so hey guys you can see that i'm giving a wrong password and a wrong username so i will do the login one more time login one more time logged in and it's the last time after if i log in so my username and ip will be locked out lock out so i'll do so you can see guys your ip has been temporarily logged due to multiple failed login attempts so you can see guys that my user ip and username is locked out so now i cannot redirect to anywhere suppose if i go to the home page so still it's writing your ip has been temporarily logged if i do for admin still it's saying your ip has been temporarily logged if i go for register still my ip is and suppose if i open this application in private window it's still log out so you can see it's the same ip address which is is block so guys you can see this application and uh, you can also increase the duration so i have just saved here one hour that the failed login attempt three and failed login log duration is one hour so you can increase according to your needs i hope you like this project and if you want the source codes uh, you will just get a link in the description so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel till then bye bye